Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at ratio comparison questions. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so having a look at the first question, what we've got is um, got a couple of fruit salads here, one of them with uh, two slices of pineapple for every five slices of mango. And another fruit salad, you've got three slices of pineapple for every seven slices of mango. So if you look at it, um, the question is asking which fruit salad has a higher proportion of pineapple. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of work at it in two ways. So we're going to do the first fruit salad and then the second fruit salad. Now, if you look at the first fruit salad, you've got two slices of pineapple and that's out of a total of uh, seven pieces. So you've got two pineapple and five mango. So together you've got seven pieces and two of them happen to be pineapple. Now, if you look at the second uh, fruit salad, you've got three slices of pineapple out of 10 because you've got three pineapple and seven mangoes which equals to 10. Now at this point we're trying to figure out which um, fruit salad has a higher proportion of pineapple. So we just want to try and figure out which of these fractions are going to be bigger. Now a couple of ways of doing this you could convert this into a percentage and compare the two percentages. So what you could do is you could go 2 divided by 7 times 100 uh, that's going to give you a percentage and then 3 times uh, 3 over 10 into a percentage will give you 30%. Um, so that's one way of doing it. The other way you could do it is by using the uh, lowest common multiple or you can just um, make the two denominators the same. So in this case, I'm gonna make them the same and I'm gonna multiply by seven for the numerator in this case and the denominator. And on this one, I'm gonna multiply the numerator by 10 and the denominator by 10. And if I do this, I get 20 over 70. And in this case, I'm getting 21 over 70. So what this tells me is that the second uh, fruit salad has a higher proportion of uh, pineapple compared to the first one. Okay, so with question two, what we've got is four almonds for every uh, three cashews. So if you look at the uh, first trail mix, you've actually got four almonds for every three cashews. Um, that means you've got altogether you know, four almonds plus uh, three cashews, that's seven um, total nuts, if that's what you want to call it. So four out of seven nuts are happening to be almonds. And in the second one, you've actually got five out of nine because you've got five almonds and then you've got nine nuts uh, as a ratio together, right? So we've got five almonds plus uh, four cashews. So now, once again, we want to try and figure out which one has the greater proportion of almonds. So uh, with this one, what I will do is I will actually do this as a percentage. So that means I'm going to go into the calculator and I'm going to do 4 over 7, uh, which is a fraction, and I'm going to multiply it by 100, which should give me a percentage. So in this case, the percentage is 57.14%. And then I'm going to do the same for 5 over 9. So I'm going to go 5 over 9 and multiply it by 100 and in this case i am actually getting 55.56 percentage and as you can see 57.14 is a higher percentage therefore in the second question the first trail mix will actually have a greater proportion of almonds finally looking at question three we've got a chocolate chip cookie chocolate chip cookie recipe um, all right, recipe X calls for one cup of chocolate chips for every two cups of flour. So uh, this is interesting. I guess we're looking at in terms of uh, the way we're going to measure the ratio is by the cups, the cups itself. So we've got one cup um, and two cups and two cups of flour. So that means altogether we've got we're dealing with three cups. So one out of three cups uh, for recipe X. And then for recipe Y, we've got three quarter cups for every one cup of flour. Now, that means we've actually got three quarters out of, um, sorry, not one. That's going to be one plus a three quarters. So a little bit more work to do in this particular question. Um, but of course, you do have the calculator. And because you have the calculator, you could just go three over, put all of that in the calculator and get a nice fraction to work with. So I'm gonna go three over four first as that. Oh, no, wait, let me just get this right. I wanna see if this actually works or not. So I've got three over four divided by um, 
and I'm going to do 1 plus 3 over 4. There we go. And when I do this, I actually end up with 3 over 7. So if we look at our first um, fraction, which was actually 1 third, and then y was actually 3 over 7. And again, we want to try and figure out which proportion, uh, which one has the higher ratio of chocolate chips. I'm going to go back to my the first method that I did. So I'm going to look at the lowest common multiple between 3 and 7. So you're going to multiply the denominator by 7, numerator by 7 here, multiply the numerator by 3, and the denominator by 3. When I do this, I end up with 7 over 21. And in this case, I'm going to end up with 9 over 21. And as for question three, I can see that um, recipe Y will have a, a higher ratio of chocolate chips uh, to flour. So folks, that's just a quick little uh, set of examples um, looking at ratio comparison questions. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision. And as always, thank you for watching.